Hi guys, um, and welcome back. To, uh, this is part four of the design a website from scratch tutorial. Um, where we left off in the last one, we had added in the uh, copy div, um, but it wasn't showing up when we viewed it in the browser. And I've actually, it was a very simple mistake. Um, what we hadn't done, or what I hadn't done, is I hadn't given it a height uh, because there was nothing appearing in it, so it wasn't going to have a height. So we had to determine a height for it. So what I've done is we've temporarily determined a height of 25 pixels, just until such time as we we get some content in there that's going to set the height for us. So if we go ahead and view that in the browser now, um, nothing showing up there, but there is a gap. Uh, as you can see, but if we view it in the, um, if we go back into the uh, design view, you can see it at the very bottom here. There it is there. And what that's going to contain is just going to contain our copyright information. Um, some people call it a footer. Uh, I don't usually use footers too often. I do sometimes if I'm adding in a site map or something like that, but because this is only a fairly small site, I don't think there's any need to add in a footer. Um, so what I do is I just add in a little copyright div, but it's the same principle applies to this as as there would to a, to a footer. If we go back in here again, uh, I just want to touch on the uh, in part of the code again on the float left and the float right uh, parameters. Um, the easiest way to explain it is to show it in design view. Uh, our content left here is floated to the left, which means that it will always line up on the left hand side. Uh, and our content right is floated to the right. And again it will always line up on the right hand side. Um, now what we can do here is we can go in and we can add in another div below these um, and what we can do is we can float it left, so it'll appear on the left. Uh, so everything is by default is floated left anyways. But because we want to have one with each float left and a float right, or we want two columns, uh, we want one to float right, so that's why we're giving this an individual parameter of float right. So I hope that explains it. Um, so what we can do now is we'll move on to the uh, to the next portion of it. We've styled the header, we've given it an image, uh, and we've styled the fade show, and we've given it a background image. But what I want to do is I want to go ahead in and I want to put in the changing image here instead of the instead of the uh, background image that we're using here. So uh, what I'm going to do is we're just going to delete that image so that it's just a blank div. Um, and I'll show you now in the browser. As you can see, that image is gone. But what we're going to do is we're going to add in the uh, JavaScript um, that allows us to uh, for that slideshow to work. So if I open up the uh, browser here and we're going to uh, visit a website, uh, I've done a tutorial on this already. Um, if you want to go ahead and watch it, it, I'll explain it in more detail in that tutorial, but I'll go into it in a bit of detail here uh, as well. So this is the website where you can download the uh, the files that you need for it. Um, it's dynamicdrive.com um, and it's the ultimate fade show, fade in slideshow. Uh, so here we are here. This is essentially the effect you'll get. Uh, you can see the images change in there. So that's what we're going to have. Um, the one we're going to be concentrating on is this one here. It's just a simple one. There are other options here and you can read into them. Uh, it'll tell you how to do them below here. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is we need to... Um, this is the script that allows it to run. So what you need to do is you need to paste that into your the head section. So you copy that. So you just click select all there, right click and copy that uh, and you paste that into your head section. Now what I've already done is I've um, I've got my own one that I've set up for it. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy that. Uh, it's exactly the same as what's on it, it's just to, to save time I've gone ahead and styled it. So just inside your, your head portion, um, make a line break and just paste it in. Um, 
and as you can see this is it here showing up inside the, the head section between the two scripts so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll uh, we'll get everything that we need and then I can explain it in a little bit more detail um, now what you also need to do is you need to download the JavaScript um, file as well so if you click on that it opens it up in a in a new tab but the best thing to do is actually if you right click on it and uh, save link as this is in Google Chrome anyways uh, and it'll download it as a JavaScript file so if you go into if we go into our site folder uh, and um, what I've done if you want to drop it into your root folder and save it in that and if we go back in here it should appear and it does in here so you want to download that to your root directory essentially um, and that is everything you need for it to work so the next thing we need to do now is we need to add in the images um, for the slideshow um, so I'm going to talk you through it here what we have here is this is the script uh, library this is the shortcut so that it allows the uh, the slideshow to work um, it's the shortcut to the uh, Google library online the um, JScript library online the next one then is the shortcut the same as we did with the CSS style sheets this is the shortcut to the JavaScript uh, style sheet or code uh, within our root directory and this is just a legal thing here but I think you should leave this in anyways for everybody because you should always give credit back to whoever's done the work so our script starts here and uh, our wrapper ID where the script or the slideshow is going to appear is called fade show one so that determines that basically explains why we've called that fade show one um, you can call that whatever you want uh, it's just I for, for simplicity I leave it as it is um, our width and height here is going to be what we said was uh, 960 by 450 so that it's going to be the, the height of the image is going to determine how big or how small these are so it's going to be 960 pixels by 450 pixels in height and in here you have your images um, so what you have here is the first inside the first bracket here or inside the first uh, commas um, is the folder where your image is contained and then the image now I haven't gotten done these yet um, I haven't actually set it up but I'm just going to talk you through this first and then I'll pause the video and I'm going to set them up and we can go continue on from there so I have them commented out here uh, so the first quotes contain the image path so that's your image path there so it's slideshow and image one dot jpeg the second quote contains the link now what you can do is you can make these images clickable all you need to do is put in the link that you want to appear here so that would be in the full format your http uh, forward slash the whole lot uh, so that would appear in there uh, the third quote then is your underscore new and what that is is that's html uh, and that's telling them that you want to open it up in a new um, in a new tab um, or you can leave it blank and it'll open up in the, in the one that you're actually viewing at the moment or at that time and the fourth quote then uh, will contain any text that you want to appear at the bottom of the image uh, so that that's, that's essentially the, 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 the options that you have for the for the individual images um, and then you have at each of these ends in a comma so that the JavaScript knows that there's another image to follow so that's what that comma um, describes but after the last image you have no comma so it's basically just to tell the uh, tell the JavaScript that you've reached the last image and to go back to the start now what you have here is underneath you have a display mode and a pause of 4000 and what that equates to is you're going to pause each image is going to cause pause for 4000 milliseconds or four seconds which that which is what that means um, and before it changes onto the now cycle zero means that it's just going to repeat itself when it gets to the end of the image it's just going to go back and restart it again if you set that to cycle one it'll only go through it once uh, 
So moving on then, the fade duration is the, the length of the transition time between one image to the other, and it's set to 500 milliseconds here, which is half a second. Um, you can change that if you want, that's depending on how long you want the transition to take. And that's pretty much it. So, um, as I said, we have our slideshow already, uh, or our fade show div already set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the, DVD or the video for now, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and set up our file structure, and um, we'll take it from there. Okay, so what I've done is I've gone ahead and created the images. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to add in our slideshow folder here. So what you can do is you can just right click anywhere in the white area here um, and you can create... why is it not? On the site itself, yes that's what it is. You have to select the site itself and just click on new folder and we're going to call this slideshow. We just press return and it creates the folder in there. So what I've done is I've already created my images and there's going to be 14 of them. So if we select all of those, Control and A, Control and C to copy and in our root directory here you can see we have our slideshow folder there. So just Control V or copy and paste and our images show up in our slideshow folder. Now what we've done here is I've gone ahead and I've set up the uh, slideshow to uh, display the images um, and uh, that should be JPEG not PNG so what we've done here is we've set up our images so what we have we have 14 images in all and as you can see we've set the parameters for each of those so image 1, image 2 so it's going to go through these images one at a time in sequence um, that should be image 10 so uh, and when it gets to image 14, it's just going to turn around and it's going to start again at image 1. Um, so, uh, that's pretty much it set up for now. We have our images in the folder, the slideshow folder, and we have the parameters set here. Um, so, I just want to double check one thing just before we go any further. Uh, the fade show uh, is set to the right dimensions. So we'll go back in here and we we'll save all and if we preview this in the browser now it should work. So um, and it's not working for some reason. Uh, I'll go back and just check what I've done or haven't done here. Um, I'm just going to pause the video first. Uh, sorry about that guys, I should have done a little bit more homework before I recorded this tutorial. But anyways, I've discovered what I did wrong. I left out the trailing commas here um, after a lot of these. So if we save that now, this should work in the browser. So we'll preview it in Chrome and uh, away we go. And there's our images and as you can see they change, they stay on for about four seconds and uh, they change. And you can have as many images or as few images in, in these as you want as long as you set the parameters um, within the script in the head. Uh, as long as you give the starting one and all of the following ones their trailing comma and none at the end. And as I said you can change all of the parameters in here. Um, for your width and your height. And you can actually, you can add in a second one. Um, what you can do is, we'll go ahead and we'll do it here just, just to have it done. Uh, so if we copy this here, and what we'll do is we'll add in a second sh slideshow, and we'll call it Fade Show 2. Okay, so then what we'll do is, you copy from here to there. Right. Uh, we'll give ourselves a line break and we'll paste it in again and we'll change this to 2. So we'll save all of that and we'll again preview it in the browser and we should now have two slideshows as you can see. 
and you can have many as many as you want on the page um, so that's all you need to do is you just copy the, the function again um, from the open bracket so I'm just going to reset this and set this back to the way we had it uh, I don't want a second slideshow up here but you can see how easy it is to make the changes um, it's pretty straightforward it's pretty self-explanatory um, all the details and the full instructions are on that page on the dynamic drive website uh, and how to install it and what have you so uh, I think we'll, we'll leave that tutorial for now guys because um, we want to get into the meat of the coding for the next one so um, but we, I think we've made good progress up to this point and um, so I'll talk to you in the next tutorial thanks bye